हॅलो दिस इज एस एन डी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजिनिअरिंग अँड रिसर्च सेंटर येवला लेक्चर सिरीज फॉर फर्स्ट इयर इंजिनिअरिंग आय डॉक्टर चौधरी विवेक सीताराम फ्रॉम फर्स्ट इयर इंजिनिअरिंग डिपार्टमेंट सो टुडेज आवर लेक्चर इज ऑन द न्युमेरिकल्स बेस्ड ऑन डी ब्रॉगलीज हायपोथिसिस नो ॲज ॲज वी नो व्हॉट इज डी ब्रॉगली हायपोथिसिस एव्हरी मुव्हिंग पार्टिकल हॅविंग मास एम अँड हॅविंग वेलोसिटी व्ही is associated with a wave that is lambda and that wave is generally termed as the matter waves so lambda is equal to h upon mv so on the basis of that so according to de broglie's hypothesis the numericals are there so calculate the wavelength of an electron of energy 291 electron volt so what is given so energy it is 291 electron volt so इलेक्ट्रॉन होल्ड सो चार्ज ऑन इलेक्ट्रॉन वन पॉइंट सिक्स टेन टू द पॉवर माइनस नाइनटीन सो इट शुड बी मल्टीप्लाइड बाय दैट सो वी गेट द एनर्जी इन जूल्स सो टू नाइंटी वन इंटू वन पॉइंट सिक्स इंटू टेन टू द पॉवर माइनस नाइनटीन एंड एज वी नो डी ब्रॉगली अकॉर्डिंग टू डी ब्रॉगली हाइपोथिस लैमडा इज इक्वल टू एच ओपन एम वी एंड वेर वेन वी कैल कन्वर्ट इट इन टू द एनर्जी सो इट द फॉर्मुला बिकम्स एच ओपन अंडर रूट ट्वाइस एम ई सो इफ वी पुट for an electron so lambda is equal to h upon under root twice semi so h is planck's constant 6.63 into 10 to the power minus 34 divided by under root 2 into mass of electron 9.1 10 to the power minus 31 and energy which we had calculated so it is in joules to 91 into 1.6 10 to the power minus 19 so the after calculation it will become point 7 to 0 to 10 to the power minus 10 and if we convert it in angstrom so it is 0.7 to 0 to angstrom and as we know if we observe this electron having a ma energy 291 electron volts having the wavelength that is matter waves of the angstrom unit that is in points of angstrom so if we consider previous reading that is 0.72 to 10 to the power minus 10 and if we consider it 7.2 into 10 to the power minus 10 it so instead of it is 10 to the power minus 9 so 7.202 to 10 to the power minus 9 meter means it is in nanometers so when we are considering the electron its matter wave is in terms of nanometer but uh, if we consider uh, here for the neutron and having the in kinetic energy one electron hone so here the matter waves de broglie wavelength calculate the de broglie wavelength so again we have to consider de broglie's wavelength in terms of energy so it will equal to h upon under root twice mv as we know h is the planck's constant 6.63 10 to the power minus 34 joule second mass of neutron 1.67 10 to the power minus 27 kg and electron is kinetic energy of that neutron is 1 electron volts that is that's why we have to multiply it by 1.6 10 to the power minus 19 so if we put all these things and calculate we will get 2.87 10 to the power minus 11 meter so again it is 2.87 0.287 in angstroms so when we are considering the macroscopic microscopic particles the wavelength in the range of nanometer now this is the one of the example which had been asked in uh, by in, uh, in sppu that is savitri bai phule pune university uh, in may 13 for three marks what is this example calculate the de broglie's wavelength associated with one mega electron volt for proton so here we have to consider the mass of proton mass of proton is equal to 1.67 10 to the power minus 27 kg and as we know de broglie's wavelength lambda is equal to h upon under root twice me so if we put all the things in here so we get the answer 2.868 10 to the power minus 14 so when it is accelerated with mega electron hold so velocity is larger so automatically the wavelength will be smaller as we know lambda is equal to h upon mv as the mass increases 
lambda decreases as the velocity increases lambda again decreases here it is wavelength associated with this one mega electron hole so energy is larger so as the wavelength decreases now if we consider one more problem for the proton and accelerated by potential difference 10 kilo volt so as the potential difference is very large energy is 10 kilo electron volt and if we put all these things and if we calculate here we will get lambda is equal to 2.86 10 to the power minus 13 meter so whatever may be the particles microscopic particles it is neutron proton electron if according to de broglie hypothesis lambda is equal to h upon mv as the energy is increasing so a lambda will be decreasing got this so if we consider again one more problem for proton so here uh, calculate the de broglie wavelength for proton moving with velocity one percent of velocity of light now remember this thing one percent of velocity of light as we know velocity of light is equal to 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second it's one percent is one upon 100 so automatically its velocity decreases 3 into uh, velocity is equal to 3 into 10 to the power 6 meter per second and as we know de broglie according to de broglie hypothesis lambda is equal to h upon mv so if we put h mass of proton and velocity decreased by one percent if we put all these things we got that 1.32 10 to the power minus 13 meter so again here as the velocity is increased proton is nearly or comparable to the two powers with the velocity of light so the wavelength is again very very small thank you thank you very much